the Wi-Fi capacity test is designed to test the several critical functions and components of an access point. In this test, the user is allowed to create several Wi-Fi stations that would connect to the AP and measure the throughput of the access point with increasing number of stations. In this test scenario, with, when the AP is expected to handle many different stations, this tests many critical aspects like the ability of the AP to handle several state machines and client connections, ability for the AP to aggregate traffic to many different stations at very high rates, the ability to rate scale on a per client basis, and also to be able to queue and buffer traffic to all the individual stations. So in this test, we first set up the, the hardware with the LAN forge inside the test chamber and the AP inside the DUT chamber. Please watch the video on how to set up a access point test bit and configure a simple test if you have not watched it already before you watch this particular video. So to create the Wi-Fi capacity test, we go to the manage scenario section. We create 6011 AC stations and uh, map them to the access points radio interface. And on the ethernet side, we have one server that is uh, connected to the LAN interface of the access point. Now we build the scenario and this, uh, when we click on the build scenarios uh, option, this goes and creates the 60 stations according to the configuration set by the, the scenario. Once the scenario is built, the 60 stations are created and they're not yet connected to the access point. So from under the test section, we select the Wi-Fi capacity test and click on run test button. When we click on the run test button, the user can select the number of station increments. So since we are creating 60 stations, I'm going to select the station increments as 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 40, and 60 stations. So for each one of these station counts, the test is going to run a 30 second trial that I'm selecting here. And I'm going to run TCP traffic and uh, I'm going to create a total load of about one gigabit per second uh, for all the stations that are being created. So the user can either select the total download rate or per station download rate. If I select the total download rate on the first test iteration when I have one station, the AP is going to send, try to send one gigabit per second traffic to that one station. But when we have two stations, the test will try to automatically split that one gig intended load between the two stations trying to do 500 megabits per second per station. And as we increase the number of stations, the one gig intended load is equally split among all stations. If we set the per station download rate, then that would be the per station uh, download rate for that particular test. Right. So I'm going to start this test. When I start the test, it's going to launch a real time uh, report and that is going to now create the number of stations starting with one station on iteration one and it's going to run a throughput test for that one station uh, for the 30 second duration and then going to repeat and go through all the test iterations as you can see uh, the green line indicates that the one station has been connected and then the traffic is now flowing we can see about 900 megabits per second uh, throughput for that particular uh, station now this test is now going to continue and go through uh, all the station increments and it's going to run and measure throughput for each uh, test iteration and it's going to plot that on the chart. So the test has now completed and we can see the measured throughput with the increasing number of stations. So each one of these peaks here represent the increasing number of stations. So this one is one station, two stations, five stations, 10, 20, 40, and 60. 
So we can see that the AP is very consistent in its performance, achieving well over 900 megabits per second throughput with the increasing number of stations. This is one of the best APs that we have tested and its performance is really good. Uh, as it got to about 40 and 60 stations, we can see that there are some glitches on the throughput and some drops here and there. But overall, the performance, to be, the, ability to, uh, the ability to achieve about 900 megabits per second throughput with 60 stations is, uh, uh, is exceptional performance of this particular access point. In many cases, what we have seen is uh, with the increasing number of stations, the throughput on some of the APs would uh, drop drastically uh, because of the various added functions uh, and uh, load on the access point uh, that is required to handle all these stations and all the state machines. So this report will also show a bunch of other really valuable information like as the, the, num the station connection times with the increasing number of stations and when we had 60 stations, these are the connection times for all the 60 stations. As we scroll down, we see a lot more information about how long it took for the four-way handshakes, for the DHCP connections, the latency for uh, all these stations over time, and then uh, measured performance over time and so on. The tester can also save a PDF report, can generate a nice PDF report that can provide a, a, a nice summary of all the test results in an easy to share format. The test, the test report shows the objective of the test, uh, the measured results, the throughput with the increasing number of stations, and all these different charts. Uh, we can also, as we scroll down, we could see with the throughput with the increasing number of stations, and also per station throughputs. When we had one station, we can see that the throughput was about 900 megabits per second, and as we increase the number of stations, uh, you can see when we had two stations, the throughput was about 450 megabits per second per station. And as we scroll down with the increasing number of stations, we can see the measured throughput. Uh, this is the case when we had 20 stations, uh, 40, and uh, eventually when we had 60 stations, this is the throughput per, per station. Can, as we can see, if there are a few stations that got really bad throughput, but overall, most of them seem to get uh, their fair share of throughput in this particular test. As we scroll down the report, there's a lot more detailed information about uh, the various aspects of this particular test.